Hey everyone, this is Bremster, and this is the next problem in my Sudoku problem series. This is a sandwich Sudoku problem sent in by Dying Flutchman, and thank you for sending it in. Um, this one is quite tricky, um, at least I found it so. Um, and um, the way sandwich Sudoku uh, works is in rows and columns with clues outside the grid, the digits placed between, or the sum of the digits um, that is given is the um, placed between the one and the nine. So in row one, there will be um, digits summing to 26 between the one and the nine in that row and the same in column one. Um, and the idea is to get row one, column one in this puzzle. So, um, as well as proof why it is what it is. So, um, there is a link below where you can attempt at this problem. Um, and I will give you a few seconds and then I will come back and attempt to explain how this one works. Okay, so the first thing you can do with this one is you can basically uh, just do Sudoku to pencil mark the positions of nines in row one and column one. Um, and the logic we do here, we can kind of, because the puzzle is symmetrical, we can kind of use some symmetry, but there's some tricks to this one. So first of all, we can look at the ways of making up 26 in sandwich sums in, um, and there's only four ways of doing it. One of which requires four cells, which is five, six, seven, and eight, and the others require even more. The others require um, more than four cells. And if we look at this, it's not going to work if you try and use more than four cells. Because if I put a nine here, if I go this way, I've only got two cells if I was to put a one as far away as possible. Um, but if I was to put a nine in the middle, then I'd only get three cells in either direction before I run out of options. So I can never put a nine in the middle. And the same is true in the column, because as I said, it's symmetrical. So if I start here, I've got four cells before I run into a one, or the position I could put a one, and here I've got four cells. So I know in this row, there will be a one in one of those two cells. The same as true in the column the one is going to have to be at the end and if the one is here this is the nine if this um the nine is here this is the one and it could go around now the question now becomes not about what is in the sandwich but what is outside the sandwich because if i put the nine here and the one here um, i could put five six seven eight here um, but if I do that, this can't be the one. This would have to be the one, this would have to be the nine, and these would be five, six, seven, eight. But the digits that are not included in the sandwich sum are two, three, and four. And all of these cells would have to be two, three, and four. And that doesn't work. So if this is a nine, this is a one, this is two, three, four, this becomes the one, this becomes the nine, this becomes two, three, four, and it's broken. So you can never make this the one. This has to be the one, which is the solution to the problem. And that's a little bit tricky to see, but it is true. Um, and that is, um, there was some discussion about, should we include these? But we felt it actually forced the, made it a lot more obvious what was going on. And you we didn't need to find all of the logic as clearly um, if uh, they were given. And we wanted people to have to try and figure out not just that this was the one, but why this was the one. Um, and hopefully you were able to figure that one out. I really like this problem. Um, it, it makes you think about sandwich in a slightly different way. Um, I, I really enjoy it. Thank you, Dying Fletchman, for sending that one in. Thank you, everyone who's been uh, enjoying and commenting on the series. Um, hope you're enjoying them all. And as always, good luck with your solving.